It's like painting with coloured light. I'm Emma Butler Cole Aiken. I live in Edinburgh and uh, I'm a stained glass artist. It was really the colours of the glass, contrasts between light and dark, and just the real beauty of the material that caught my attention. And I just, I just wanted to be able to make things with this amazing material. While I was at college, I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to make several commissions. After leaving college, also had some really good opportunities very few and fairly small ones to start with and then it has slowly grown over the years. Got married in 1988, a few days after graduating. Uh, it's all very exciting. Steve's a minister. My eldest daughter Amanda is nearly 18 and Melanie is 15. Living off one income was difficult because it wasn't a very big income. So when I had the opportunity to make some stained glass, it was welcome. Uh, even though it was an effort to make the time or arrange the childcare, it was the best way that I could add to the, the family budget. There was one occasion where I'd arranged to install a front door window that I'd made. And on that day, both my daughters weren't well. I tried to phone a friend who I knew did that kind of work, but he was too busy to do it that day. And so I thought, well, load everybody up into the car. We'll all go. We'll just do it. I regret that because my children were miserable and I felt miserable sort of ignoring them and trying to do this work. And uh, I should have postponed it and set another date. But of course, I wanted I wanted to be paid. We probably needed the money quite urgently. I wasn't brought up to believe, but over time I had faith of my own. It does mean that I don't worry as much as I would if I didn't have that faith. I'm sure I would still worry too much, but uh, it is, it's an anchor. I think my faith has really helped inform my church windows and the designs for them. I've always wanted my windows to say something more than just be a, a picture or a story, but to perhaps have a, a bit of depth to them. I enjoy most of the stages in making a stained glass window. Sometimes the design can be a bit painful because it's actually the most critical point. If the design isn't right, the end result isn't right. I really enjoy cutting glass, choosing the colours, seeing the colours react once against the other. I think that's probably my favourite bit, painting on the glass, treating the glass, making it do what I want it to do. The less enjoyable bits of letting the piece together, it's more mechanical. I quite enjoy it, but on a, a big project that can get physically tiring and perhaps a bit boring. And the worst bit of all is puttying it at the end rubbing the cement into all the joints. Again, on a big job, that's a back-breaking, dirty, nasty, horrible process. One major, almost catastrophe, um, in the middle of installing a window quite far from home, discovered that I'd made the window too big. I had to bring sections of it home, trim them off smaller, take them back the next day and finish the installation. There is a lot more potential in the medium that I want to explore and perhaps experimenting with new techniques and just seeing where it takes me. I'd also like to do more teaching, but mostly, mostly I want to make stained glass. I don't, I don't know if I would change anything. In some ways, I suppose if we'd had children later, I might have established my career sooner, but then would I have wanted to stop to have children at all? Where I am now, where the family is now, I couldn't be more content.